for the KBB in ages to be on He doesn't have a buyback or even to Kang, who already sacked Loki. Kang is not going to hold on to the ages. He really can't drop anything. In fact, yeah, it will be the Mirana that keeps the ages here. There's actually a cheese as well, and I believe Johnny would be the ideal Don't candidate for that. And he will. Me. Unfortunately, there that RRQ couldn't get in time. The amp damage as well, speeding things up for Mineski X. He's up to 3200 gold, he does have the buyback available for this next one. With 47 minutes in and Mineski X, they're making their intentions amply clear that they want to go in for the final finish again. They've attempted this multiple times before, but their last attempt at the middle lane was met with a disastrous failure. But now the illusion army will be sent up onto the cliff and that'll be enough to force out the fortification. This is rather cheeky coming out from them. The tier 3 tower will be taken down just by illusions by the looks of it. 21 HP. There's no sense in denying it just yet. And look, open for a big crit there. You won't find any. Mirana, or rather Shadow Demon with the illusions, will finally finish the job in that tier 3 as Mineski X will back away, realizing that it's now daytime. They've lost their vision advantage. Well, let's have a look at that Juggernaut. He's actually finished up with a Bristle Blade and has 4,000 gold in the tank. He does have two lives for this next team fight. Well, he had you. His scythe is up. 2,400 gold and can buy back as well. Or RQ, they desperately need to hold on to buybacks now. Because that really is going to be their best tool to defend their high ground. And as for the Ember, he's pretty much maxed out. Could possibly consume a moon shard or upgrade the boost of travel, but I don't think it's sensible for him to set off that mantis style than anything else. The Adu, the arrow will not connect. Nick attempting to kill there on the spot, but will really be unsuccessful. And it is daytime again, so Mineski X probably does not want to make too many aggressive plays, but now they'll just use these illusions. Chip damage done on the range racks. Manta Illusions coming out as well. Bit by bit, slow and steady seems to be the name of the game here. Koala, beating but the time walk will shrug it off as if it was nothing. Darkness, gonna get used now. Ex Nova, they wanna fight. Tons provision on the side of uh, RRQ. With Ember constantly spamming out the slider fists. Gonna do as much damage as he possibly can. They're going in now. Illusion's gonna get sent. One on the range wraps is at middle, one on the range wraps is at bottom. This push is the name of the game, but Enchantress can convert illusions, and that seems to be working against the SDX for now. Now RQ. They're gonna need to initiate sometime soon, or are they just gonna wait for the darkness to end? Knowing that it will be daytime once it does end. Darkness is almost over though, and again, the range racks are going down at the bottom lane as well as mid. This is just a very cheap strategy being used. Finally, they're gonna lose it. The Raxes will drop at bottom. Range Raxes are about to drop at mid as well. Incremental gains here from Mineski X. A very smart Dota being shown here, and very disciplined Dota as well. RRQ, it's almost as if Mineski X is trying to bait them to make a, a big mistake here, and commit hastily. Almost at night time. Darkness is back again though. Sex Nova should be looking to pop it. And there it is. Darkness is going to be spammed on cooldown here. Ellie Rax has taken some damage as well now. We got a Maelstrom finished up on uh, the Enchantress now. This is just starting to look so painful if you're in RQ shoes. Four Mirana Illusions pounding away on those Raxes. And those Raxes are dropping hella fast. They're already down to half HP. Sure, they've got a bit of regen, but now here comes the end of Illusions as well. They'll be stunned for now. While Mirana actually walked up and started doing some damage herself. She's taken a beating. But the mid-range Raxes have also fallen. 
this ladder and the embers. Let's push at his finest. The many racks will go down. Chang, he's been hexed. He could be going down. Yeah, he's dropped two seats in the rival little dog. Can he jump away? No, he can't. Slaughter, Johnny Company has the brush, but he's been stunned with the cast as embers gone down. Johnny will drop next, but it is almost mega cute. Just one many racks to stand at the middle lane as Mineski X ends up losing three. They'll get only the void in the bargain. Slaughter even dropping to the crop. This building is literally all that RRQ has right now. Try and fight back. And there's buybacks on every single dead hero of Mineski X and all three lanes have been pushed in. This is a tall order indeed for RRQ, uh, for Mineski, sorry, for RRQ. I believe the Aegis was taken away as well there in that fight. I don't know if it was reclaimed by Roshan. No, it shouldn't have been reclaimed. There it is, boys. It's Divine Rapier time. Ember, he's opted to buy it out and he still has the gold for a buyback available, but that would mean he'll have to drop his Manta style for it. And without a Blink Dagger on the Ember, things could get really wrong really fast for Mineski X. Giant middle well, while they're pushing mid, Nick's gonna apply pressure at bottom. He's going in for the Mega Creeps. They've got Queen. Pain making the long run back. She doesn't have an EP, which means that RRQ will probably try and continue pushing here. Delta Dark does get the spin off in time. Many Rax is about to go down, but fortification will slow them down. They're trying to keep back here, but Mirana's doing the work already. Nick, he needs to leap out of this to get away to safety. Koala will jump straight after him, and now they're heads up to Mirana. He's gonna get the hex off on Koala, but that's a dead Mirana indeed. While the fight's happening there on the front lines, Kelpazar, he'll get the kill off along with the Enchantress onto the Night Stalker and the Shadow Demon. RRQ, they're fighting back and they're fighting hard. The Rage is not picked up by Kang. He's actually up to go into the enemy base. They're trying to get the Rage, but Kang, he's gonna get silenced now and he can't jump back to his remnant. He does have a buyback. He will buy back immediately. He's not picked up the Rapier yet. It's just lying in the fountain. Why would you do that? But Yeltazar, he's been hexed up and he'll be brought down finally. That's a dead juggernaut for 90 seconds. Triple kill from Mirana who walks ahead. And with the Star Storm manages to cause all sorts of chaos for RRQ. But the Rax is on a sliver of HP at the middle lane. They've dumped out a triple buyback from RRQ. At Rapier though, it's just for decoration right now. It's a decorative item really. Again, the Illusion Army will begin to go to work. There's, Ember Spirit. There's four Ember Spirits now moving forward. Charging at those Mary Raxes. They'll throw the cast and do everything that they possibly can. One hit gets off at the end of it all. The Raxes will still stand. And back to region, I believe, is still available. Now the Mirana Illusions is their turn to shine. Johnny jumps forward, gets the stun off on Zyrus. Illusions go to work. That's Mega Creep now up against RRQ. Can they come back from Mega Creep here? They've brought down the Slada, but he does have a buyback. RRQ is now and ever for them. They've just got to rush straight through the middle lane and hope to take down the Ancient before Mega Creeps will overwhelm their base. This game got a lot more intense than I'd expected it to be. What looked like a storm from RRQ turned into a comeback from Mineski X and now it's RRQ fighting one of the most uphill battles in Dota 2 ever. Plada, the Radiance only one with a buyback in this entire game, is holding on to it for now. RRQ, they've already started battling down the middle lane. There's no TP on this juggernaut, so they are going all in here. But the army from the Nesky X has breached the RRQ base already. Yagyu is going to get stun locked here, maybe not. He'll pop his BKB and jump forward. There's the corner spear getting dropped down as Nick. He's in a bit of a pickle. He'll get taken apart. 117 seconds is what he's down for. 80 seconds without the shadow demon. Juggernaut's going for the jugular there. He's going for the win by himself here. He needs to stop him. Kang, he's stopping him, but without the rapier again. Kelthazar, he's manning up. Zephyr's coming to fight as well. Kelthazar's gonna get stunned, but they just don't have enough damage to bring him down right now. Yadu, he's come back in. RRQ, they look like they're gonna win this one. On the flash, on the X Nova, he doesn't have the buyback. 90 seconds without it. RRQ, they look like they're gonna win this game. It's a base race for all intents and purposes. The ancients are both dropping. Who's gonna get it first? Mineski X will be the victors and will secure their slot in the grand finals of the SEA Open Qualifiers. Holy moly and holy hell.
What an absurd game this was. What an epic one indeed. RRQ nearly clinched it from the jaws of defeat, but Mineski X proved to be the superior team and secure their slot now, where they'll face off in another intense best of three, we hope. Stay with me, guys. This is CloudX casting the Manila Major SEA Open qualifiers on behalf of AFK Gaming. And if you've enjoyed this stream, do hit the follow button on twitch.tv slash AFK Gaming Esports. It's been an absolute pleasure casting for you, folks. I'll be right back.